Hello, everyone. Welcome. How are you? Let's see. Let me see who do we have in here. Ah, oh, there you have Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm on vacation. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> so you're already on vacation. Yes. That's so cool. Uh, only one day. Uh, <laughs> only Monday or, or, or it's going to be Tuesday? Only Monday, only this day. Uh, okay, excellent. Now, now, <laughs> now I see why your face is so happy. <laughs> Great, yes. Claudia, welcome. Welcome to today's okay. class. Let's see, we have Fabiola. Hello there, Fabiola, how are you? Uh -huh, Fabiola, let's check your audio. Hi. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Fine, thank you. That's great, excellent. Welcome to today's class. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, Noemi, how are you, Noemi? You look, you look like tired. <laughs> I am tired, I am very tired. Really? I all weekend. I was just about to ask you, how was your weekend? And now you're telling me that you worked. Oh my gosh. In what in which areas do you work during the, the weekend? I have two works. Three mm -hmm. jobs. Two jobs. Uh -huh. So Monday to Friday in a manufacturing company. And on weekends in a, in another place. Mm. How do you say Mercado? Uh, you can say in another area, you can say areas, or you can say enterprise. Um, okay. I work in an enterprise. In another enterprise. Okay, excellent. Very good. Let's see. Let me ask you. So your weekend was very busy. Okay. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay, but it's good that at least you're in class. That's very good. Okay, now let me see. We have Rafael. Welcome, Rafael. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. How was your weekend? It was very good. <laughs> I, took, I took rest and I had a birthday of my best friend friend was my best friend really yes that's so cool so you do you really enjoyed your weekend <laughs> yes <laughs> okay excellent so welcome to today's class today we're going Thank to see you. a lot of content everyone you're welcome let's see we have marvin noemi if you are there you can also say market okay all right you can also say market for the one that, for the thing that you asked me before. Ah, you can also okay. say market, okay? Okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. Now let's see who else are we having here. Ah, yeah, Marvin. Welcome to today's class, Marvin. How was your weekend? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm great. <laughs> the West yeah. weekend is is working. Oh. I'm so, so tired, but, but it's good. I, I like it. I like it, my job. I like money. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you. <laughs> so much money. Yeah, you're right. Very good. Let's see. We have Florence. Welcome, Florence. Florence. No, I can't hear you. <laughs> Maybe the headphones or something else or your microphone. Let's see who else do we have in here. Jessica, welcome, Jessica. I barely see you, but I, I believe that there you are. <laughs> How are you, Jessica? Hello, teacher. Fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. How was your weekend? My weekend, fine. I um, visited a uh, family. Really? You visit your family? That's so cool. 
Yes, sí. Excellent. Very good. Family is important. Let's see, Diane. Aha, uh -huh, Diane. So you are on your cell phone. <laughs> How are you, Diane? All good. Um, today is my birthday, but I'm the weekend. Uh, celebrate um, my family, um, uh, my birthday and my cousin. Because That's so cool. Excellent. Very good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> you. Yeah, so your weekend was really cool. I can see that. Yeah. Very good. So I'm happy for you, Diane. <laughs> Let's see. We have Fabiola. There you are, Fabiola. Hello there. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. I'm thirsty and I'm a little bit tired, but I'm great. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, thanks for asking. Let's see, we have Fatima. Hello there, Fatima. How are you? Hi, I'm tired, but I'm fine. Excellent. Yeah, guys, let me tell you that congratulations because most of you, I know you are tired, but still you're in class. That's, that's a really good proof that you want to learn. Very good, Fatima. Thanks. Let's see, Christian. Hello there, Christian. How are you? Hello. I'm great. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. How was uh, your weekend? It was interesting. Uh, on Saturday, I went to the church with my family and I prepared. Tamales. Mm -hmm. Tamales. Tamales with my mom. And yesterday I was taking a rest all day. And today the traffic, it was a stress. A stress. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Yeah, you see. And uh -huh. continue. And now. I am ready for the class. Excellent, very good, that's the attitude. Now listen everyone, people says that on Monday, on Mondays, traffic, it's stressful, horrible and everything, but I believe that traffic mm -hmm. in El Salvador is every day the same way. It's stressful, every day. horrible, I don't know. <laughs> we don't have too many attitudes for that. From San Andres to Del Bio de Opico. Uh-huh. All it was, day, it was horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Good thing that I don't go out never, <laughs> that I never go out. <laughs> okay, excellent, very good, Chris. I love, I love that you're speaking more now. That's great. Okay, thank you. Let's see, we have Fatima Karina. Welcome, Fatima, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm fine, and you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to see you in class once again. You're welcome. Excellent. Very good. Let's see, Cesar. There you are, Cesar. How was your weekend? Uh, very well. And weekend asleep. Uh, today I went to buy products for the store. I have a free time. That's so cool. So you take advantage of your free time. That's excellent, very good. Let's see, Patricia, there you are. How are you, Patricia? I feel great. Uh, my work was very good and um, I work at home office. Ah, oh, that's so cool, yeah, it rocks. <laughs> it rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Zero traffic, no drama. Anything that's so cool. No. <laughs> so Nothing. how was your weekend? Did you go out or you just spend at home? Uh, I was rest in my home. Um, it, I help my I'm uh, my son with homework. Homeworks, excellent, very good, good mother. That's great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I Huh? Do you want to add something else, Patricia? Uh, yes, my son, uh, uh, her name is Gabriel. Gabriel, uh, that's so sweet. Gabriel, and uh, he, uh, he uh, 
eh, eh, tiene <ríe> eh, eight years old. He is eight years old. Sí. Okay, that's yeah. great. Very good. It's good that you're helping him and at the same time you're practicing. <laughs> we always practice. Even when we get older, we need to practice everything. <laughs> Even if it is mathematics. Oh my gosh, mathematics. <laughs> Let's see. So Karina, welcome to today's class. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm great. I'm happy to see you. How was your weekend? Um, uh, we think my weekend is very tired. It I was very tired. Sleep. Yes, I can sleep very well. Oh, really? Why? Yes. Were you working? Uh, no, uh, it's a boring one house, clean the house. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You couldn't sleep as well as you wished. <laughs> But it's good that at least you're in class. That's great. Yes. <laughs> That's the mood. Excellent. Then we have Karina Marisol. Welcome, Karina. How are you? Good evening. Um, I'm fine, Spain. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to see you. How was your weekend? It was so good. It was very large. Long. It was very large. long. Yes because we have vacation today. How is that everyone is getting one day of vacation? <laughs> yes, we are in, in holidays in Santa Ana City. Oh, really? That's so cool. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. So you enjoyed your free day. That's cool, Karina. Yes, I, I can rest. Excellent, very good. Yeah, I know you work very hard, everyone. Let's see. We have Rene Samuel. How are you? Welcome. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How was your weekend, Rene? Did you go out or you just spend your time at home? Happy. Huh? Hi, everyone. Take advantage. This is your time to practice with me. Uh -huh, Rene. I think you're drinking coffee. <laughs> Let's see. We have somebody else in here. Yeah, we have Jenny Lisette. How are you, Jenny? I am great, teacher. Excellent. Did you practice? Your English speaking during the weekend? Uh, so, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, the mm -hmm. thing is that we don't have like uh, people around us that speak English, right? To practice with. Uh, or do you? I, I practice with my song. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Very good that you have somebody to work with. <laughs> Let's see. We have Jose Walter. How are you, Walter? Fine, teacher. Thank you for you. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Are you sick, Walter? No. Sorry. <clears throat> no. 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 Okay. Um, let's see. We have Lisette Velasco. Welcome, Lisette. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. I'm happy. I don't see you, but I'm happy because I can hear you. Uh, sorry, because I'm sad today. Oh, why? Um, what happened to you? If, if I can. Uh, because my friends, her brother died. Mm, he and, passed away. Yes, and her, her had accident. He had an accident. Yes. Mm, oh my gosh, said I'm really sorry from my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you, I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you, yes. Uh, but uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's good, to, it's good that you are in class. That's the good <laughs> thing, that you're in class and you're ready to learn. Very good, welcome. Thank Let's you. see, Jocelyn, how are you?
I am fine, thanks. And you? I'm great. Did you practice your speaking during the weekend, Jocelyn? Ah, pues, um, speaking well, my family and friends to watch it, the movies. Ah, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. You spend your weekend in a really good way. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So it's a pleasure to have you in here. You know that I always ask you details about how was your weekend or how was your day because I need you to practice your speaking. And I know that most of us, we are not surrounded by people who speak English, maybe, who speaks English. So we can try to speak here in the class. It's not that we can try, that we should practice our speaking here in the class, okay? So very good, let me share with you my PPT. So we have Monday, July 26. What's your neighborhood like? We are in class number seven. So listen everyone, before moving on, I need to tell you that I hope that you are practicing more and you're advancing more on the platform. Because for tomorrow is Tuesday, Wednesday. For Wednesday, you should have finished all section three. Okay. Remember, as you saw in the message today on WhatsApp, uh, you should get 80% of your grade. It's not only about working, working, working on the platform, it's to get the correct grade, the right grade, and also to take advantage of the platform, right? To learn. And remember that here in class, we're always going to discuss uh, topics related to the platform. Most of them are the same, the same ones that we have in the platform because here is where we practice, right? Okay, so let's move on. We have, there you are. So we have section three, they're perfect for you. So I believe that if you already advanced to this section, you already saw this conversation. And right now we're going to practice with it. Now, listen, we have a pairing here. We have a Steve and Mary. What we're going to do is the same as always, right? We're going to choose one pair from the, from the public. Excellent, Marby, you are going to be the first one. You're Steve and Fabiola is going to be Maria. <laughs> Action. You may start, Marvin. You are Steven. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. Oh, look. At those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. The strange ones? I am not sure. No, the jelly one. Oh, this? Jelly mm, is really a good color for me. Well... That necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's 22. That's expensive. Hey, let me get, get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Very good. Although it was 42, you were just paying the price. <laughs> That's great, Marvin. Excellent. Anything for your friend. That's amazing. God, I have no comments. Very good. It was great. Let's see. We get Jocelyn. You are Maria. And Rafael. Let me write your name here. And Rafael, you're going to be a Steve. Action. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. Thanks, red ones. I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, thanks. I, I am yellow in. We can hear you, Jocelyn. Can you repeat that again, please? Well, 
¿Cuál, teacher? And can you repeat that again, please, your part? Because I couldn't hear you. I don't know if Rafael, uh, did you listen to her, Rafael? No. No, okay. Can you repeat your part again, please? On dance, I'm yellow is. Really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Wash one. That blue one right there. How much is it? It's 32, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Very good job. Excellent. Now listen, listen everyone. So I believe uh, that sometimes I think it's a little bit harder maybe to read. Let me get it a little bit bigger for you. So it was very good, your presentation, guys. Thank you so much. Now, Jocelyn, just repeat after me. Isn't. Isn't. Three times. Isn't. Isn't. Excellent. Which, wish, wish, wish. Okay, now listen, here is a tricky part. We have one word that actually you can pronounce in like wish, but this one is which. Which. Uh -huh, exactly, there you go. Which. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because we have another that is different and we pronounce in wish. Okay, so that's my Clear part. Very good. Thank you, Jocelyn and Rafael. Let's get to somebody else. Let's get, let me see. Farima Rivas, you're going to practice with Caesar. Excellent. Okay, action. Oh, look at those hearing, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, they yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue all right there. How much is? It's 42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your brighter present, happy birthday. Excellent, very good, very good. Now listen, uh, Cesar, repeat after me. How much is it? How much is it? Excellent. Repeat three times, the same question. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Excellent. We got Claudia, Maria. Claudia, Maria, and Mauricio Morales. Action. Green. Green. Oh, look at this earring, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. Oh, the yellow one. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that, neck, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue on the right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Yeah, let me get let me get it for you. It is your birthday present. Happy birthday! Excellent, very good, great job. Now listen, Marisa, repeat after me. The blue one right there. The blue one right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Three times, Mauricio. The blue one right there. Uh, let me see. Uh -huh. The blue one right there. Right there. 
the blue Very one good. right there. Very good. There you have it. Thank you. Let's get to her to Karina Jimenez and Luis Alonso. Action. Okay. Um, oh, look at those those earrings, Maria. They perfect for you. The, these red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that ne necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. There you go. Excellent. Very really good job. Now we are going to have Florence. And Milagro, mira. Milagro, you are going to be Maria and Florence is going to be a Steve. Action. Okay. Mm, no, we still cannot hear you. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, maybe the headphones or the headset. Nope, nothing yet. Yeah, if, if you want, you can try like getting out of Zoom and then connect again. If you want, you can try something like that and see what's going on, all right? Okay, so Noemi, you're going to work with Milagro meanwhile, okay? So Noemi, you're going to be um, a Steve, please. Okay. Oh, look at the dog's earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I know, sorry. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey. Let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Thank you, my <laughs> that's, the, that's the rhythm. The rhythm. Very good job, girls. Now let's see. Milagro. Repeat after me. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Excellent. Three times. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, excellent. Very good. I'm not sure. Excellent. Let's get to Patricia and, sure. <laughs> and Fatima Karina. But wait, girls, I'm writing your names. Patricia and Fatima Karina. Okay, action. So, uh, uh -huh. yeah. I was just about to tell you that you're still Patricia. Thank you. Okay. 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 Oh, look at that. At those, that earring, Maria. They are perfect for you. This red one, red one. I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is, isn't bad. Which one? That blue one, right? The, this. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Bravo, that was great. Thank you, girls. 
Now let's go with Diane Guadalupe and Karina Marisol, please. Diane, you are Steven. Karina is going to be Mary. Action. Oh, look, uh, those early in Maria. They're, they're perfect for you. This red one? I'm not sure. Oh, the yellow oh. ones. Oh, these? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that snake one isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right this. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get in for you. Is your birthday present? Happy birthday. Excellent. Very good job. Great. That was great. Now, Diane, repeat after me. Earrings. One more time, please. Earrings. Earrings. Uh-huh. Earrings. Very good. There you have it. Now, let's get another pair. Tricia Muñoz and... Marjorie, do you hear me? Let's see, let's see who's talking. Florence, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> I'm gonna... Yeah, now, now I see, you're happy, excellent. Uh, Florence, I'm gonna look for you. Uh, here, just give me one second, because right now I was choosing Crisia Muñoz and Marvin Joseph, please. Okay. Oh, Marvin, you already participate, right? Yes, uh, teacher. Yeah, you're right. I was confusing with me. <laughs> wow. Don't worry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's great if you participate again, but we need another person. Let's see, Walter, are you there, Walter? Okay. Okay, excellent. Thanks. You're going to be a Steve and Cristian Muñoz. Maria, please, action. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. This red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much, how much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That is expensive. Hey, let me give it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Thank you. There you have it. Very good. That was so nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that was great. Excellent. Now let's get Florence. You are going to work with Jimmy Manuel. Okay, Florence. And Jimmy. Okay. Action. Oh, look at the, those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, these? Mm, yellow is not really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> that was great. Excellent. Good. No comments at all. Let's see. We have now Elvis Abrego and Andrea Sosa, please. Yes, teacher. Oh, that. Oh, look at the earrings, Maria. These They're red ones. For you. Oh, sorry. These red ones. I am not sure. Oh no, the yellow one. Uh, oh, 
know this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that's nickel isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's forty two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Yay, excellent. Very good job. Now let's get to Lisette Velasco and Sarseño Raul, please. Action. I'm Maria. Hey. Yeah, you're Maria. Let's just wait. Uh -huh. Raul, you're Steve. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace is bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much? How much is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Excellent. Very good job. That was great. Now, listen, my friend Raul. Repeat after me. Isn't. Isn't. Three times. Isn't. 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 Excellent. Very good. Now, repeat. How much is it? How much is it? Mm -hmm. How much is it? How much is it? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. The last pair that we have is Ada Gabriela and Heidi Vasquez, please. So Ada, you're going to be Steve and Heidi is going to be Maria. Action. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. One, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow in it really good for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? Three forty-two. That is fancy. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Excellent. Very good rhythm. That was great. Now listen, Heidi. Repeat after me. Isn't. 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 One more time. Isn't. Excellent. There you have it. All righty, y'all. That was pretty much it from the conversation. I have a question for you. Um, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's see. Was it difficult for you the pronunciation of some words in this conversation? Teacher. Uh-huh. No. No, teacher. No. We have another person, uh-huh. I think it's Caesar, the one who's talking, right? Ah, Renee. Okay, tell me. Tell me, Rene. Uh, 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 what's the meaning? Uh, one in the sentences. One. Uh, how to use? To use. Ah, now today in today's class we're going to see the use of one or ones. Okay. Pretty good question. Let me tell you. It's good that you're asking that because today we're going to develop that topic. Let's see, Diane Guadalupe. Tell me your question. 
What is necklace? Necklace. Let's see. I don't have mine in here, but it's the is the accessory that we use women in here. Okay, that's the necklace. Necklace. Okay, excellent. Thank you. There you go. There you have. Okay, if we have no more questions and I and you believe that everything is clear with pronunciation and the words, let's move on. Okay. So here you have it. We have this grammar focus, demonstrative, demonstratives one and ones. Okay. Let me see if I can move this in here for you to see it a little bit clear. So we have <laughs> we have some questions in here. For example, the first one. Let's see, Fabiola, help me with the reading. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. How much is this nickname? Excellent. How much is this? Uh -huh. Which one? It's 22. 42. Okay, excellent. Very good. So there you have it. These are the kind of questions that we can use when asking about price of something, right? For example, how much is this necklace? How much is that necklace? If, listen to this part. If we're using that, the object must be far away from us, okay? For example, let's suppose that this bottle, it's like over there, how much is that bottle, okay? It means that it's far, so we can use that. Somebody, maybe the person who's selling things can ask you which one, or the person who's with you can ask you which one, okay? That's the most common question that we have to, to know about the object of which we are talking about, okay? Which one? And there you have the answers, the blue one. And then you go with the price. It's $42 or it's 42. Now listen, we have another one. How much is this one? If we have the object in here in hand, we use this one. If not, we can say, that one, okay? Instead of saying the noun, for example, in the first one, the noun is necklace. Instead of saying that necklace, you can say that one. That's the main use of one and ones, okay? It, the main use is to replace the noun. We will see that in just a couple of minutes. Then we have the second question. Let's see, Patricia. With R? Uh, how much is, uh, how, how much R? How much is this one? Ah, okay. How much are the these earrings? Those earrings, which ones? They are uh, $18. Excellent. The, uh, sería this, uh -huh. those, and the yellow one. Excellent. Very good. Now, if you notice in here, it's different, right? We don't say this ones. We don't say that. Or this one. You cannot say that. Or those ones. You cannot say that. Okay? So you have the yellow ones. Yes. Indeed, you can use that on your daily basis. And there you go again with the cost. They are or they are 18, okay? So that's what we have from this part. Now listen, if you want, it's not that if you want, this is my advice for you, copy this on your notebook as a reference. Whenever you need to learn something or to study something, you can check this. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to copy this. But please make sure to copy this information right, not to get confused this with this or that with those, okay?
Yes, Fatima. How do you the correct pronunciation the demonstrative this? This uh, or this? This. 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 Is this. this. <laughs> and then you have this. This. Uh -huh, like in a relaxed way. This. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Teacher. Yes. Who's talking? Teacher in, in, ah, in, 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 Spanish, in Spanish. Um sería como este. O sea, es, eh, sustituyendo la, 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 el objeto en lugar de decir eh, este lapicero, este, digamos, es como es como decir este sin, sin, ¿Ah? sin el nombre. Ese, eso sería this one, that one, ah, eh, exactly. this one, those one. Okay. Yes, there you go. You just substitute okay. the noun. Very good, Luis. Okay. Teacher, uh, if I understand, this is the near um, that is uh, far. Uh huh. Exactly. That's basically the rule. Yes, we will see that just in a minute. In a couple of minutes, I just want you to copy these examples of these questions on your notebooks, just in case that if you were if you were working on your exercises, but maybe you didn't copy this. One question, Miss. Yes, ask me your question. And uh, near is why can you touch or not touch in, in the important? You can touch. If you have the things near to you, you can touch, for example, this bottle of water is near to me, so I can touch it, right? Same thing as the cell phone. It's near to me, so I can touch it. Okay, finished. Yes, yes, teacher. Finish. Very good. That's great. <clears throat> now we have something extra. We have four demonstratives. Pronouns. We have this, which means singular and plural. And then we have number two, Caesar, which is read, please. Uh, one, the uh, this mm -hmm. equal singular plus near. Number two. Number two. This this equal plural yeah. plus near. Okay, excellent. There you go. Thank you, Andrea. Talking about that number one and number two, please. Oh, okay. Uh, that equally singular far. Mm -hmm. It uh, means far. Far. That's equally plural far. Exactly. Uh, I don't understand far. Ah, far. Um, let's suppose. Now let's make this example. This bottle is near, right? It's near. I have it just in here, near. But if I put it over there, it's far. Ah. Did you catch me the, the example or? No, no, no. Other Not example? Yet. Let's see. Let's I see. Uh -huh. oh, for the example, um, let's see, what else can we use? For example, the house in front of my, the house in front of my house is far from my house. It's not mm -hmm. near, it's far. Okay. Still yes. not? Still no, not. Stop. 
see. <laughs> let's see. The thing is that it's just the opposite. If near, uh -huh. Uh -huh. far is the opposite. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yes. yes. <laughs> now I'm trying Thank to you. do more examples. <laughs> Right, very good. Let's see. So this is like a resume from resume from your videos from the platform. So copy this on your notebook, please. Okay, now let's move on to something else. Finish. Excellent, very good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask you guys if you finished already. Did you finish or do you need? Finish. Finish. Excellent. Finish. Done. There you go. So we have notice, okay? I put it in this way, notice. <laughs> we use is with these and that and we use R for this and those. Keep an eye on this, okay? You cannot mix them. You cannot say is those, that doesn't exist. You cannot say are these, no, no, no. Okay. Copy this on your notebook, please. Finished? Just finished. Very good, excellent. Now let's see. Let's see, let's ask someone. Mauricio, which demonstratives do we use with is? Sorry? Which? which demonstratives do we use with is? This is my pen. Mm -hmm. There you have it with this. Excellent. And which is the other? The example or, or, or what? No, I was just asking you which ones, but it's good. If you give me an example, that's good because it means that you understand. So that's great. Don't worry. Okay. Excellent. Let's see, Claudia Maria. Um, which demonstratives do we use when we want to use R? With these and those, with the plural form. Excellent. Can you give me an example, please? Um, uh, those are my shoes. Excellent. There you have it. Very good. Very basic. Excellent. All right, everyone. So let's move on. Keep in mind, okay? Keep in mind. We use one. No, let me see. Karina Marisol, read this first paragraph, please. We use one and ones when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Okay, excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Karina. Let's get Luis Alonso, please. Give me the examples A and B. Um, A, is that your backpack? Uh, B, which one? 
uh, the old one or the new one? Um, A, the old one? B, yes, it is. Okay, there you see. We use one and ones to substitute or to, yeah, to substitute the noun, okay? Instead of saying backpack like three or four times in the whole conversation, you just okay. mention that word once and then you can use one or ones. There you go. Keep this on your notebook, please. Copy this. Finish. Very good. Okay, now if you have finished, let's ask somebody. So, in which cases can I use one or ones, Karina Jimenez? Repeat the question, teacher. In which cases can we use one or ones? According to the information that we just saw. One, one with a singular nouns mm -hmm. and ones plural. Okay, yeah, that's correct. But remember that in some cases, like the one that we just saw, we can use it when we want, when we have one or more than one thing, like it says the information. Oh. When talking about choosing or having more than one option, okay? Excellent, that's like another case. We have, with these demonstratives, we have like extra information. For example, the one that you just saw, that we use E with this and that, R for this and those. And then you got this other one, that we use one and once when we want to choose or we have more than one option, okay? Look at the example, the old one or the new one? How many options do we have in there, Noemi, in this sentence? Two options. Exactly, which ones? Which the are the old, two options? The old, uh -huh. the old backpack or the new backpack? There you have it, very good, very good. Okay, that's what I want you to get or to keep in mind. Now let's go with remember. Let's see, Diane, can you please read this information? We use one or once at the end of the question or answer. Is replaced with nouns in question. Excellent, very good. So there you have it. That was what I was talking about, right? To replace or to substitute the noun in question. Copy this on your notebook, please. This is extra information. Finish. Excellent, there you go. So 
let's ask to somebody else. Cesar, when can we use, I'm changing the, the slide and I'm going to ask you something about the previous slides. So in which cases can we use one or ones? Uh, but to be one or ones using is. Excellent, yeah, that's the grammar part, excellent. Let's see, let's ask Fabiola. Tell me one case in which you can use one or ones. From the ones that you have on your notebook. Yes. Please tell me one case. Yeah, tell me one case in which you can use one or ones. One or ones in the question. In questions two. Uh -huh, everyone, don't forget about this part. We use one or one at the end of the question or answer. It replaces the noun. So when I ask the question you, and ask one. Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. So you replace it instead of saying, uh, let's think about an example. How much is that cell phone? If you are touching the cell phone, you can say, how much is that one, okay? Instead of saying, how much is that cell phone? And somebody can, ans can answer, oh, that one is, and there you go. Just substitute or you replace the noun. All right, everyone. So for next class, we're going to practice with this um, guiding slides because I have some pictures for you to practice this topic. But for now, I think we're going to finish the class in here. It was a pleasure to have you in class. If you have, do you have any questions or doubts before leaving the class? No, teacher. Are you sure? Is everything clear? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, you. it's clear. Very good. So please don't forget. Yes, Noemi? Uh -huh. yes. You have pending a feedback about the grammatical rules of simple present. <laughs> I have them in here. I have them in here, just in here. I have the simple present and I got those rules that you wanted. But because of the time, I cannot develop that topic. But listen, if we get the time tomorrow, we're going to develop that topic, although it's from last week. If we cannot, I'm going to send you the PPT in the group. You're in the group, right? Yeah. Excellent. In, in WhatsApp group, and you can check it. If you have any questions, you can ask me. But still, we have this, and this is really important. You were right last class. The thing is that those topics are not like part of the platform. So that's why I wasn't sure if I should uh, develop them in class. But still, we're going to see them, okay? OK? Yeah, but I have them in here. If you can see in the slides, I have them in here <laughs> and separate, OK? All right, everyone, so goodbye. Thank you so much for attending to your class and see you tomorrow. Please advance on your platform. Don't forget about the platform. You need to get the 80%, okay? So okay. Okay, teacher, bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, you bye -bye. so much. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, teacher, thanks. Bye. bye. Let's go.